using technology in the classroom is um, uh, it's a long-term uh, learning process both for students and for teachers so you have really have to change your mindset when you when you start using technology knowledge is distributed that means that the knowledge that the student or the information that the student want to to um, get hold of doesn't reside in the teacher it resides in the the technology that they have uh, access to and the, it's a transformation f for me as a teacher to understand that I don't have to, to teach everything. Uh, the knowledge is out there in the different technologies and I have to teach the students how to, to find that knowledge and reach it and how to use it systematically. And when you start giving students responsibility, ask them what their learning objective is, try to make them work systematically towards learning using all the support they can from uh, other students, other teachers, um, information on the website and uh, on the applications and so on to reach their learning objective. Then they become self-organized and I can spend more time um, guiding, mentoring, coaching, these students because I find it much more efficient to instruct students in small groups or individually than in front of the class. If you really believe in a social learning theory then you really have to go for this way of, uh, of teaching. Using technology in my classroom has given me the freedom to open up for more student involvement uh, in my teaching. Then they are much more committed and there's much more obligation involved in, in, uh, in the learning process. So I think we really have to focus on, uh, on using new technologies, whatever that is, the loss of possibilities, to create um, a learning uh, strategy where students are self-organized to a much greater extent than before because teachers um, should facilitate learning they should not always be in front of the classroom and tell students what they should learn there is room in the curriculum at least for the time being for students to d develop their own um, knowledge in topics that are of interest to them and we should pursue that um, that path instead of uh, narrowing everything down to a textbook which is basically written by three teachers com commissioned by a publishing company that's one interpretation of the curriculum I think students should be part of this interpretation uh, in the classroom and that's the challenge with new technology. That's also how they open up for new perspectives and much more creative and motivating teaching and learning in school.